another Solar's Unlimited Leader Spotlight. In this series, we're going to be going over leader from the newest set, or rather from the first set of the Stars Unlimited trading card game, and we're going to talk about some cool cards that we think look pretty cool with that character. That being said, there's a couple rules to talk about before we get started officially. Not every card we're talking about in today's video will be amazing with this character in the future, or prove to be extremely meta with the particular leader that we spotlight in whatever particular video. But that being said, they're just personal preferences and cards that we think look pretty cool and have pretty good synergy on the face value. That also being said, in an attempt to keep these videos as short as possible, not every card that works with these leaders will be shown in today's video, so keep that in mind as you go ahead and enjoy this leader spotlight. about in today's video is going to be Cassian Andor. He's going to be an aggression and heroism leader and he's going to have the rebel keyword. He's going to have a nice ability here that as an action you can pay resources and exhaust them and if you dealt three or more damage to an enemy base this phase you get to draw a card. As an ep epic action you can, if you control six or more resources you can deploy him as a leader unit and when you do so he becomes a four six leader unit with saboteur and when this when he deals damage or rather when you as a as a player deal damage to an enemy base you can draw a card this ability will only be able to be used once each round. That being said, when you look at Andor's ability, this whole thing is you want to deal damage to your opponent's base. And we're going to be talking about a lot of cards that we think allow you to do that pretty well. But for the most part, his whole thing is once you get that off, you have to draw a card. So he's just going to have a lot more options than some other characters in the game. And that's what you really want to be taking advantage of when you're playing Cassian. That being said, when talking about the cards that are overly synergistic with the with a guy, it's not going to always be... Um, what's, going to, what's going to be great with Cassian isn't always going to be what's going to be great um simply because of face value synergy so a lot of these cards we're going to talk about are just cards that we think work pretty well to get you damage on your opponent's base or just cool cards that he can have he has access to in general that being said let's get into the very first um aspect so obviously if you want to play him on aggression what are some of the cool cards you can play with cassian so if you want to play him on aggression you can obviously play him with the uh, amazing uh, target town base allows you to deal three damage to an undamaged leader unit to allow you to do a little more damage but not to your opponent's base so it won't be able to activate his ability with it but if you want to you can use it or you can use kestro city or one of the catacombs of kadira to get that 30 health um, um basic base other than that you can go ahead and play sabine ren and this is one of my cool cards one of the cool cards i think works pretty well with Ka cassian here because this is a two cost unit two three and while there are different at least three different aspects amongst other friendly units this unit can't be attacked now, this won't always end up happening because um, it's kind of hard to do, but aggression and heroes on both aspects, and if you're playing him on a different aspect color, like um, cunning, vigilance, or command, you can't get this to work. Also, when you attack with um, Sabine, you can deal one damage to an enemy defender or to a base, which allows you to try to get that much closer to um, Cassian's ability being active. You can also play K25, K2500, or K2... K2S0, sorry, 4 cost, 4-4, um, four, four, Overwhelm, so when you're dealing damage, if you defeat that unit, you can deal some extra damage to your opponent's base, getting you closer to dealing 3 damage to the base, and get that extra card draw, and then when it's defeated, each opponent chooses one, either they deal 3 damage to, um, for each opponent, opponent you choose one, either you deal 3 damage to that player's base, which will probably be what you want to be doing when you're playing with Cassian, or that player discards a card from their hand, which also can end up benefiting you quite well. Another card you can play if you're playing him on double aggression is Saw Guerrera. Four cost unit. It's going to be a 5-4. And as an additional cost for each player opponent to play an event, they have to deal two damage to their base, which is going to allow you to deal some extra damage to their base and keep you basically bring you almost all the way there to activating Cassian's ability. Now, what you'll see is that Cassian's ability isn't too hard to activate, but um, if you really want to be playing him, you're going to want to be activating that ability as often as possible every round. As a two cost um, unit here, you can play the Jedi Agitator. A 2-1 two, two, Saboteur and on attack, and if, um, if you control a leader unit, deal 2 damage to an enemy um, ground unit or base, or really any ground unit base actually, so it doesn't have to be your enemies, but you're going to do it to your enemy's base. You can also play Fighters for Freedom. It's going to be a 3 cost unit, 3-4 Saboteur, and when you play another um, aggression card, you can deal 1 damage to an enemy base, which in conjunction with some of the other cards you see seen here today, it's going to allow you to deal that 3 damage pretty easily. We're looking at some space units you can play with Cassian. The red 3 is pretty good. 2 3 stat line, raid 1. So, right off the bat, you can attack. When you are able to attack with this, you'll be able to do a 3 damage, which can do 3 damage to your opponent's base in one swing. Also, for each other hero as a unit you, you have, it gets raid 1. Um, whether each other heroism you own gets raid 1. So, then they're going to be able to deal extra damage with their attacks, dealing more damage to the base or to, you know, obviously your opponent's units. 
Also, the Green Squad in A Wing. The two costs one three and has rate two, which means when it's attacking, it's gonna have three attack, three damage to an enemy base. So it works pretty well for that. You can also play for a cold, I believe, and it's a very Cassian focused card, three cost. Um, reveal the top four cards of your deck, and for each hero's card revealed this way, you could deal one damage to an enemy base, and you may discard any number uh, any number of the revealed cards and put the rest back on your deck in any order. So it allows you to not only filter, but do some burn damage to your opponent's base, act with casting ability, and as you put those cards back on top, you'll know what's on top of there. So if you deal three damage with this card, and then you put the cards back the way you want them, next action you get a chance, you use Cassian's ability, you, da um, you draw a card, it's a pretty sweet um, transaction there in my opinion, and you'll know what cards on top of your deck, so you'll get that going for you as well. Then you can also play him, if you're playing on um, double aggression, you play Rally Cry, uh, three cost um, event. Each friendly unit gets rate two, even if they're a one attack unit, they're going to be able to three attack and be able to deal damage to activate Cassian's ability, but also just because this card's pretty good, if you have a lot of units out in the field, you're going to be able to get a lot of value out of this card in particular. And then, of course, if you want to, you can go ahead and play Infiltrator Skill. It's going to give your character Saboteur. So if your opponent has Pesky Sentinels, it's trying to stop you from attacking their base and activating Cassian's ability. And this card is going to give you Saboteur. It's going to allow you to bypass that. You get some extra stats as well. So overall, a good card and aggression, but also Cassian in particular. So moving on from aggression, the next um, aspect we're going to talk about is going to be Command. So what if you want to play Cassian on Command? A lot of great options for bases here, but obviously, your your it's really up to you whether you want to play the Echo Base, the Command Center, or of course you want to spring for the 25 Health Energy Conversion Lab. It's an epic action. You can play a unit that costs six or less from your hand. Give it an amb give it ambush for this phase. Not always going to be necessary, but if you want to spring for it, you can. I prefer the basic base here, in particular. So what are some of the cards you can play? Mon Mothman is going to be good. It's going to be a two cost unit. One three. When you play or you get the blocks of the top four cards, five cards to your deck and get a rebel card. A lot of the cards we talk about in today's video are gonna be rebels, including Mahan Mothma. So you can even search out and get those cards that you may need in the future. And some of the cards are gonna allow you to deal that extra damage to your opponent's base. You can also play the military company, the mercenary company, a six cost unit, but it's um, a five five ambush, also overwhelm. So when you're striking into an opponent's unit, then um, any extra damage you do can go over to their base. So if you come down, your opponent has a two health. 2 HP remaining unit on the field, you play Mercenary Company, you can immediately strike with it into that unit, kill it, and deal 3 damage to your opponent's base. You want Fell Swoop, activating Cassian's ability. Um, you can play the Home 1, which is going to be a space unit. It's going to be a big 8 cost unit, 7-7, seven, seven, Restore 2, and other friendly units also gain Restore 2. And then when you play, you can play a um, Heroism unit from your hand, from your discard pile, at the cost, at minus 3 cost. So... It's going to be a pretty cool ability for that purpose there, getting some more film units on the field, but also home one is going to also just be a big body that you can drop on the field. For events, I really like Rebel Assault. It's going to be a one cost event. You can attack with the Rebel unit, it's going to get plus one plus zero for the attack, and then you can attack with another Rebel unit, it's going to get plus one plus zero for the attack, and like I said, we're playing a lot of Rebels, so ultimately that's going to help you out in that endeavor. But if you don't want to play Command and you want to play Cunning, there's a couple cards that you probably want to keep your eye on um, within that um, aspect. So, Jetta City, you can choose it. I really like Jetta City. It's give a 9 leader unit minus 4 attack. This phase, if your opponent has a really big dude on the field that you're really afraid of. Well, if you, I know I have a kid off the field, but if I attack into him, he's going to slaughter anything I swing in with. This is going to um, uh, bring that guy down a little bit. But, of course, you can play the basic base instead, which I do also like. Extra health is never really a bad thing. The Lothal Insurgent is actually a really cool unit here. Two costs, three, two. When you play, you can play, if you have played another card this phase, each opponent draws a card, then discards a random card from their hand. A little bit of disruption there. It's not going to reduce their hand size, but it's going to make it so that whatever plant they might have had with those two, three cards in their hand, now could end up getting disrupted, and they could lose a card that they needed to play. It's not always going to hit for you, but also it can, and with a little cost on your part. Also, that three attack means you can easily use it to activate Cassie's ability. Um, the Rogue Operative is going to be a 3 cost of unit, 2, 4, Saboteur, and Raid 2. Um, simplistic, straight to the point, works with the Cassian in a lot of ways, being a rebel, having the 4 attack while attacking, and also having Saboteur to ignore those pesky sentinels and if shields if you need if need be. So there's some space units, you have the Star, or the Strafing Gunship, 4 cost, 3, 4, 3 attack to activate that ability when you swing in with it. This unit can attack ground units in the ground arena, and while this is attacking ground unit, the defender gets minus 2 attack. 
So it's just a generically good card, but being the fact that it has that base 3, it can end up activating Cassian's ability. Spark of Rebellion is a cool event. It's going to be two costs. It's going to have that nice heroism um, aspect, so you're using it with its four, four calls I believe in. Um, you can look at an opponent's hand and discard a card from it. Just gen generically good. A little bit of disruption. If your opponent has anything in mind that they want to do um, to you and you don't want it to happen, you can look, sort of look at their hand get rid of it. Bamboo is also a good card. It's a two cost again. And also you may discard a yellow card from your hand instead of paying its cost. That being said, you're going to have a little bit more cards than other decks when you're playing Cassian. So you can maybe afford this more often than you would not have to. Or rather not be able to. And you can exhaust a unit and return each upgrade on it to its owner's hand. A little bit of defensive play right there. But also there's a lot. There's going to be some decks that hope and plan to, especially some blue decks, to put a lot of upgrades on characters and say, well, this guy's huge and now we're just going to try to dominate the field. And you can use this card to say no to it. Also, it can get rid of, I believe, shield tokens if your opponent's trying to shield up their guys. Um, important for that. And finally, because it's a generically good card, but it also works pretty well on Cassian, Snapshot Reflexes. When you play it, you can attack with the attached unit. It gets plus one attack. Most cards already we looked at will have three attack. So you can play this onto a card, attack with them, and deal that an amazing three damage or three plus damage even to your opponent's base after the Cassian's ability, as a lot of the cards we're talking about here are planning and looking to do. So say you want to play him on Vigilance, of course, because that's the final um, aspect, main aspect that we haven't talked about. There's some good cards, but of course, it's up to you to choose what base you want to use. Again, I think the generic base is perfectly fine here. It's not like you overly need the extra shield, but again, the extra shield may come in handy if you feel like giving up the 20 extra 5 health. I like the, the Consular Security Force. It's going to be a 4 cost, 3, 7, no ability, but the 7 health is really nice. 3 attack to activate Cassian's ability if you need to use it as an attacker. But also, just being on the field and being able to stay around for a long time, pick out some weaker units, and still survive afterwards, absolutely good card in my opinion. I like Luke Skywalker, a really big unit, but he has some nice big stats. He's restore three, and when you play him, you can give an enemy unit three, three, minus three, minus three. And if, if a friendly unit was defeated this phase, you can give an enemy unit minus six, minus six instead. Again, just going to allow you to just hit some big numbers, like sort of like the, the security force here, that you might not be able to hit otherwise. And then also you can play uh, for some space units, the restored arc seven, uh, one, 170. Two calls, two, three, restore one, it's a rebel unit. Sadly, does not have that three attack, so it, it by itself will not be able to put Axe the ability online, but that restore can be pretty nice, and it is a rebel unit. And then similarly, we have the four call system patrol craft, three, four. It has, does have that three attack, doesn't have the rebel ability, rebel tree word, sadly, but it has Sentinel. Get a little bit of defensive there on defense there on your side. And then for some cool events, you can play Repair, one cost, heal three damage from a unit or base. If you're, again, you might have some units that may be damaged, you want to keep them alive a little bit longer, or you might be getting close to death, you want to stay alive a little bit longer, that card is going to help you out there. And then finally, just to take a look, some, look at some hero, heroism cards that are going to work pretty well with Cassian. And there are quite a few, because a lot of them have something to do with Rebels. So like we have the Fleet Lieutenant, 3 cost, 3-3, three, three, Rebel, when play, attack with this unit, attack with the unit, if the unit's a Rebel unit, it gets plus 2, plus 0 for that attack. You can play the General Do Do Dodonna, um, 4 cost, 4-4, four, four, other friendly Rebel unit, just plus 1, plus 1. And then uh, you can play Wing Leader. Three cards, two one. Um, when played, give two experience tokens to a friendly rebel unit. And then also, if you really want to, not that it's always going to end up happening or being useful. The metal ceremony. It's going to be a throw zero cost event. Give an experience token to each to up to three rebel units that have attacked this phase. And if you're attacking, you're playing an aggressive deck here. You're trying to deal damage to your opponent's base. You're going to have a lot of rebel units that have attacked. You can give them experience tokens so they can be even more powerful in the future. Look for some other causes as well. Ultimately, that's going to be it for all the cards off the top of my head that work pretty well with Cassian Andor here. Cassian is a leader unit, or rather a leader in general. And he's going to be a leader that's going to want you to deal some damage, do a little bit of burn, like a lot of the leaders in the game, a lot of the aggression leaders do. But in his case, once you do that, you actually get a little bit extra for your troubles, getting that extra card draw, getting that extra ability to do, have more options in your opponent, getting that ability to do some more things on your turn that other characters won't be able to do. And then obviously when he's a unit, a leader unit, you're going to have that nice saboteur to ignore your opponent's sentinels and their shields that they're going to be using to try to slow you down throughout the game. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
get ready and look out for some more Star Wars Unlimited spot leader spotlights for some more Star Wars Unlimited content because the game is coming out really soon. Well, that's going to be all for now, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go ahead and watch some of our other videos that we've made on this channel. Also, give this video a like if you thoroughly enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future content. And I hope to see you guys back at the roost.